Hello and welcome guys to this quick overview guide for Resto Druid Artifact Path in 7.2. So 7.2 is coming out in the next couple of weeks and I wanted to do a, vid a quick video about what path you should go when specking into your artifact weapon. So this is quite important because if you kind of mess up you're gonna lose a lot of time and uh, I'm just gonna go through uh, two paths that are possible in 7.2. Um, if you had 54 trades uh, before 7.2 you will be able to get three points into the two new artifact abilities uh, and actually you'll have a leftover of 16 million artifact power so the my recommended spec is to actually basically just try and get the new golden trade deep rooted uh, first which basically when in rejuvenation we got a wild growth heals a target below 25 percent health inspiration is, is refreshed this will most likely yield the highest HPS increase, but it would be harder to get because it requires you to get all of the new artifact traits, so it'll take a bit longer. This is probably the most recommended because in, in the in the long in, in, in long term this will increase your healing by most. But if you do need this is a second option, if you do need a quick healing, let's say right now, because of how the artifact traits work, there will be an additional point added to each of your uh, multi multi-point abilities so you could technically spec one point into persistence increase the duration of moon fire rejuvenation by one second at one point uh, and into grove walker which increases all he healing over time done by one percent with that uh, that extra trait these two traits will give a huge and a pretty big instant increase into your healing because these two traits were by far the best before so if you do need, if you do, need, if you're uh, progressing on some boss and you're actually missing out on some healing and need some extra healing straight away, you could go this route. I do not recommend this, but it is possible because these will give you the best traits. If you are going option one, which is basically specking into all of these new traits, trying to get the deep rooted. Obviously, you should always spec into Grace of Scenario Circle because this increases the healing to by ten percent and the damage, and it's basically the replacement of your previous Ganier's Bloom which used to be 20 and now it's only one so you always spec into grace of scenario world no matter what but the scenario one is basically getting all the new traits and then once you get the new traits go straight for persistence first and then grove walker second and then it and then you could probably go for a, a essence of not nordrasil which basically increases healing to buy for essence by 15 percent this could be your third trade after that and then after that, it doesn't, and then you, I guess if you want to go in order, you could go uh, for increased mana regeneration. And these would be your biggest savings uh, after you get the main trait. So hopefully this was just a little discussion video about what traits you can go. Uh, leave a comment below if you uh, tell me which way you're going to go. Don't forget that you, before 7.2, you should try and get at least 25,000 garrison resources or the whole resources um, just to get the new just to get the new um, research points and I can so you can see here that you'll be able to get the next points are 10,000 into increases number of champions you have active at once by one or you you are now able to recruit dream walk award as a powerful root type and increases uh, success chance of mission by 30% obviously it's probably gonna be you're gonna go with uh, roster of champions and then the last one artifact power gain increase for more quests and missions have a chance to grant double artifact power so and this is 15,000 so 25,000 uh, 25,000 uh, garrison resources are going to be needed when 7.2 hits so farm away and thank you for watching uh, my video and see you later on guys